Now, some people are assholes until they have their morning cup of coffee. And some people are just assholes all the time. Now, uh, recently, a man uh, started hurling insults at employees at a Miami campus Starbucks because uh, his order his order wasn't being made fast enough. Hey, you coffee, uh, coffee monkeys, you hurry up with my coffee. I want it, and I want it now. Now, um, one of the customers uh, saw this altercation beginning. Uh, first, it was um, him saying... Uh, uh, terrible things to to some of the black employees uh, and then accusing them of get this anti-white discrimination because his coffee was not there fast enough this is this is according to different witnesses right now another cup customer called the man an asshole uh, because he was acting like an asshole uh, and that's generally what you call people who act like that and he replied yeah fuck you bitch now, that's when uh, one of the customers, a man named Jorge de Cardenas, Car Cardenas sorry, uh, he began recording this, and he posted this to his social media account. I have that video. Let's take a look at this guy having a meltdown. Just give us our money back. We want nothing to do with you. I'm going to write Starbucks. You're the complete part. You're trash. Because I voted for Trump. So what? Trump. You lost. Now, give me my money back. What is your name? I want your name. I want your card. Okay, you're garbage. You're complete yeah. trash. Hey, come on. You don't talk like that. You want to talk like that? Don't talk to other people like that. Don't tell me what to do. You don't talk to me. I'm not telling you. She did discrimination. Hey, she might have done that. I don't know what happened. But you don't need to talk like that. Okay, that's fine. But don't tell me what to do. No, do not talk to other people that way. Okay, As you see that at the end, or hear that at the end, he was like, I want to punch you out. Remember, this is over coffee not being fast enough. Now, as I said, uh, the man who filmed this was uh, Jorge de Cardenas. Now, he told Raw Story that he just couldn't figure out why this guy was so pissed off. I mean, look, yes, his coffee was late. That's kind of annoying, right? But at the same time, the, it, it takes as long as it's going to make. Uh, or it's going to take to make that coffee. It's not going to come any faster with you calling them trash. But no, 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 no. It, it's not fast enough. And that means it's white, anti-white discrimination. Really? He thought that he was being discriminated against because of slow service. And who thinks that? Who thinks that? Especially that it's anti-white discrimination yeah, oh, oh, yeah like black baristas are sitting back there going hey you know what i'm gonna do it sounds like a great idea i'm gonna punish that white guy who i assume but i, I don't actually know is a trump supporter right or you know, well, he's just a random white guy and we hate the white people so what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna we're gonna punish him for being white by making his coffee a little sl a little more slowly than we would make someone else's coffee and you know what that'll do that'll show him that'll show him fuck whitey are, are you kidding me are you kidding me who believes that who believes that uh, apparently some people do <laughs> now cardena said before he started filming that the guy as i said was talking about anti-white discrimination that doesn't make any sense man that's not a good example it's fucking coffee, dude. And sometimes, yes, it takes a while to make your goddamn half-calf mocha latte fucking chino, you goddamn douchebag. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Now, look, here's the other thing, right? And this guy's an atrocious person. Doesn't mean all Trump supporters are atrocious people. But this guy, you see, the reason that we 
uh, tie in Trump to a lot of this uh, racism, right? Is because this guy started yelling Trump at a minority. Why would you do that? Why would you why would you just say randomly to a black barista, I voted for Trump? What is that supposed to mean? Who what are we what are we like why should we care who you voted for? You didn't see uh, Republicans or people yelling Mitt Romney at a minority if like you wouldn't have seen that if he won. Okay? I, I voted for Mitt Romney. Yeah, and but they're using, but they're doing that with the the, with the the Trump name. So look, this isn't me saying all this stuff, right? No, what, what you're doing is that, look, you're yelling at a Trump, uh, uh, Trump at a minority. There has to be a reason. Okay, there has to be a reason. And it's because it's supposed to intimidate and scare minorities. Gee, I wonder where they got that idea. I wonder. <laughs> and look, we, we it's not like this is the first time we've seen this kind of thing happen, right? You had Trump's name being spray painted on spray painted on lockers in school next to, you know, Nazi symbols and, you know, white supremacist slogans, okay? Or, you know, fuck Latinos or build the wall, whatever. I mean, uh, build the wall, like you had students walking down the uh uh the halls in classrooms carrying Trump sides chanting build the wall and threatening minority students <laughs> of course it's tied to racism whether or not Donald Trump agrees with that and look he came back and he said hey uh, all the people that are using my name and are uh, you know intimidating your minorities hey you need to cut it out you need to stop that I don't like this at all that was good for him to come out and say that I'm gonna give him some credit on that because it's like, hey, don't, don't, don't do that. D don't, don't go after minorities. But you can't ignore the fact that during his campaign, he went after the minorities. So l let's keep it fair, right? Let's let's keep it where the facts are, and those are the facts. Now, there's another part of this that I want to touch on, and that's entitlement, right? Now this guy. I think he felt like he was entitled to special treatment. Like, make my coffee faster. Like, I paid for this. I voted for Trump. And I want my coffee now. Well, your coffee's not going to be ready now. Sometimes it takes a while to make your coffee. And I know it's annoying. But seriously. You're going to flip out over fucking coffee. It, it's the entitlement, man. It's that, it's that entitlement mindset of certain people. Where they think, yeah, we, we are entitled to better service, special service. Well, no, you're not. And yelling Trump at minorities and calling them garbage and calling Starbucks garbage, it's not going to help you get your order faster, dude. And threatening to punch out the manager who was more than ready to step outside and teach your ass a lesson, it doesn't help. It just doesn't help. And you see, here's the other thing about entitlement, especially white entitlement. And this is coming from a white guy who is kind of entitled. Okay, I've had my fair share of entitlement, so I understand what I'm talking about. Look, people like us, we've always been entitled and have always been in power. Every pre look, You look at every president but one white guy. We've always been in power in America. We've always had the special treatment. For about as long as the country has existed. And so to these people who think, no, anti-white discrimination. No, dude. No. No, you're not standing up for the white race. What you're doing is that you're being a dick to fellow people, to fellow Americans. And you need to cut that shit out right now. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.